Hi, welcome to sixth grade language, and we are looking again at friendly letters. Um, this is lesson 141, and um, tomorrow we're going to be starting writing a, um, a thank you note um, to someone who's given you something, but today we're going to um, look again at the friendly letter, and I'm going to have you practice writing um, a a letter to a family member, okay? So <clears throat> it can be someone that lives with you, that's fine. But um, we're just gonna practice writing uh, today. So if you have some sort of um, stationary or um, something, just either, either a plain white sheet of paper or some stationary that might have some pictures or something on it, um, you can pause the video, get that um, right now. But um, if you don't have that, then um, you can practice on line, line paper, that's fine. Okay, so one of the things that we're gonna look at again is the format, and I'm gonna show you a couple different things about the format, okay? So this is all on page 277, and the five parts of the friendly letter and different things that we're gonna do with that, okay? So I put on my little whiteboard, I made the, a letter, okay, to show you how to do this, okay? So your heading goes up here in the right-hand corner, okay, of the letter. And right here, yeah, right here, sorry. Um, so the heading includes the address, your address, so your street address, your house number and street address, um, your city and state and zip code on the second line, and then the date on the third line. And so I'm gonna see if you can see this picture. Okay, so I made, I wrote this letter um, it's just a, it's just a copy of something that we have. Um, it, so the, the address there says 3509 Kingsford Road, Dalesville, Nebraska. That's N-E for Nebraska. 545793. And it says March 30th, 2020. Okay. So that's the heading and that's what it should say. Okay. I am going to <clears throat> just go over the rest of these, and then I'm going to read you this letter just to help you see some of the things that, that she did, um, or that he did. It's actually a boy that wrote this one. Your greeting goes on the left side. Um, you make a, you skip one line or like one, a, one, a, a little bit of a space, okay? Your greeting should say, dear so-and-so, dear, um, dear mom, dear dad, um, dear grandma, whoever. Um, and then your body, notice that I did not write body right next to the line because you're supposed to indent, okay? So what my rule of thumb with the indention with a letter is that I, I start the word about where the word dear ends, okay? So that's how I do that. Um, that helps me to know how far I've invented. Okay, then your body is here. And then if you did have more than one um, paragraph, you could indent again for another paragraph like that, okay? Then your closing, sorry, I'm gonna give you the wrong thing. Your closing here is your, um, it could be sincerely, it could be love, it could be from, Whichever, and then your signature is your name, okay? Um, and so that's, that's how to write a friendly letter. I'm gonna read you this letter just to, to, and then we're gonna talk about what is involved with this letter, okay? So this is, says, Dear Aunt Kate, I am looking forward to visiting with you and Uncle Dave. Dad says that I will have a great time fishing and swimming in the lake with my cousins. Thank you for inviting me to come. Sixth grade has been fun, and I have made a new friend who moved to Dalesville this year. His name is Brandon. He and I played soccer together, and our team had a winning season. I will see you in June. 
Sincerely, Nathan, okay? You can kind of see how this letter was set up. It's exactly like um, the setup that on the whiteboard that I had. And so um, <clears throat> I kind of did get it a little slanted. So I would recommend, I was writing those fast and trying to get it done, but I would recommend for you guys, if you're gonna have trouble with slanting, um, that you use a ruler just to help you, um, just guide you. Now, don't go drawing lines because then that defeats the purpose of using online stationery. But um, you can write um, using the ruler to help you stay in line and make it look neat. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to get a piece of paper or whatever paper I had you get out earlier um, and just write a thank you or write a letter um, and it could be a thank you one it could we're going to be working more on thank you on a thank you note tomorrow or in the next lesson but go ahead and just practice writing to someone and um, I suggest it be as someone in your family but if you have someone else that you normally write letters to um, you could do it to them and just practice some of the things that we've been looking at. So like if, if you actually have someone that has written you a letter recently um, and you are wanting to answer that letter, make sure that you answer questions. Um, and you probably, if you've already been writing with someone, you probably realize those are things that you wanna do. If they ask a question, don't, don't just avoid that, but um, answer them and tell them what, you know, what, if school is going well <laughs> or how how they are um, how you guys are handling and if someone's written really recently they may be asking things like how how's your family doing with all of the quarantine and everything so um, just we're gonna look at that or I'm gonna have you do that practice writing that heading so make sure that you write your address your street address the um, the city state zip code so it's either rock springs or green river um and then our zip code and the date um, of today's date um and so i will let you get to this and uh, we will see you next time